All right, today we are going to pit the little AD200 flash up against the big giant heavy AD600, and we're going to get the exact same picture. How is this possible, you might say? Well, in the last video, we talked about how HSS, High Speed Sync, which is what most people use, sucks a lot of the power out of your flash and you're not getting full power. So when you're using something big like an 8600, you're probably using High Speed Sync. That's what I've been doing for a long, long, long time. And you got enough power to do that. No big deal. You just, just overpower everything. But when you're doing a little tiny flash like this, it's best to not use high speed sync some of the time because you get more power out of it. I explained why in the last video. So the first step is to not use high speed sync in the little flash, but it's okay to use it in the big one. So that's the first way you can equalize. Actually, there's not that much difference in the light output of these two, believe it or not. Maybe a stop or something like that. But we're gonna show you right now how you can get the same amount of power out of this little thing. So let's start by using just one AD200 against one AD600. Now the thing that I use all the time are these reflectors. More than anything else, these are the most, these really amp up the power. Nothing gets more power out of an AD200 than this little four and a half inch reflector. This is, doesn't come with the AD200. This reflector actually was originally intended for the AD360. You can still buy it for a couple bucks. It's really cheap. Um, I'll put the link down below. And it comes with a diffuser on the front. And the diffuser actually has two, two uh, plastic uh, frosted sheets. It uh, gives you a little bit more diffusion when you use both of them. I always use both. This actually does not suck a lot of power at all. There's very, very little difference between using the diffuser and not using the diffuser and just using the bare. I don't like using bare bulbs. It just gives it too harsh of a look. So I always use the diffuser, even with the AD200. So uh, we're gonna pit this against this, both using diffusers. This is the seven inch, this is a um, four and a half inch. They both have diffusers on them. So let's start with this. There's a picture taken with the AD600. We darken the sky, we got the nice blurry background, and it's full power. This is the full power AD600. All right, so let's take one AD200 and see what we can do. So this is one AD200. It's not exactly as bright as the AD600, but it's pretty darn close. I mean, you still get a nice dark sky. If you don't mind the sky being a little bit lighter, now you can match the amount of light hitting the front foreground subject with the little AD200 and the AD600. So here we have the 200, here we have the 600. We have the same amount of light hitting the foreground. All that changed was the background. So you can get pretty darn close with just one AD200. But what really makes these things eye to eye, toe to toe, totally equal, is having two AD200s. And I always have two anyway. I mean, I always have two. Usually it's one for the foreground and one for a hair light. Sometimes I have two for the foreground. I have one on each side to even out the lighting and then one for a hair, a third one is a hair light. I made a video, if you have not seen my AD200 epic video of all the different ways to use an AD200 and the modifiers and all that, I'll put the link down below. It was an epic video made in Hawaii. You've got to see that if you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, so the way you put these, the, well, there's so many ways to stick them together, but one way is simply this, the little basic bracket. And then what you do is you start by putting a spigot in the middle so you can attach it to a light stand. There, so now you have a spigot. This spigot goes into a light stand. Attach your AD200 on each side, and you put that on a light stand, and now you have two AD200 side by side, ready to go. You will be amazed how powerful this is. You gotta use the two four by five inch reflectors. That's the secret. And I'm gonna show you, let's just check it out. Here's a picture taken with the AD600, full power, nice dark background. Here we go, we're gonna switch over to two AD200s with the four and a half, here we go, bam, look at that. It's the exact same exposure, 600, two times 200, 600, two times 200. Look at this, back and forth, you can barely tell the difference. Matter of fact, let's change the setting a little bit on a double 200s and I can actually get more power out of it. There's more power coming out of these two 200s than the one 600. By the way, if you're gonna get an AD600, I suggest you get this one, the older one, not the new AD600 Pro, that's $900. Really the only difference is the newer one just flashes faster it doesn't really have that many differences. The old one is just as powerful. There's no power difference. This is just as powerful. This is only $450. This is half the price of the newer one. So you get two of these flashes for one of the, the newer ones. And it's, it's like I said, it's no more powerful. It's got the Bowens mount, it's everything. So 
Uh, and this one is actually a tiny bit smaller and lighter, actually, than the newer one. I thought it'd be the other way around. Anyway, so it, when th if things are like s totally serious and you, 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 there's, there's no fooling around, there's no messing around, uh, the 600 is the way to go. You know, when you're just, when, when you're, when, when it, there's too much at stake. But if you want to play around and have some fun, two 200s really can do the exact same job as one 600. The 8200s go for $299 each. This particular version of the 400 goes for $450. The, of course, the really expensive Pro goes for $900. So you might say, well, why not just use the 600? Well, one reason is this thing is super heavy. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. This is six and a half pounds with a battery. These two with batteries is only five pounds. So it's almost two pounds difference between this and this. Plus these things you can break up. You can, uh, they don't have to be together like this. You can have one on each side and I've done that where you have an 8200 on this side and 8200 on this side and that gives you nice even flat lighting, especially for people that are older and you don't want to show wrinkles. Here's an example of that. This is where I just use two 8200s, one on each side. That gives you nice even flat lighting. But if you want to have just pure power coming from one side, then I suggest this. So let's have some more picture examples using this thing, because this is just so fascinating. Watch this, I am going to turn down the background sky so dark that you can't even see it. Check this out. This is bright daylight, and you cannot even see the sky or the background, it's that black. But this is bright sunny day. This is what it normally looks like in automatic exposure. This is what it looks like when you turn it way down. And this is with two AD 200s. Look how you can still see the foreground. It still lights up. So let's brighten it up a little bit. You can start to see the background now and the foreground is lighting up even more. Again, this is with two AD 200s. Let's lighten it up even more. Now we're getting into normal exposure territory. And look how beautifully exposed the foreground is with just two AD 200s. And here again is an AD 600 exposure. And here's the two AD 200 exposure. Exactly the same. So you can get the exact same picture with two 200s instead of just one 600. And the reason I am really excited about this is these things are so small. Like when you break them down, I could put four of these in a carry-on bag and they take up no space at all. This thing is so big and heavy, it, it'll take up the whole bag. Four of these things will take up almost the same space as one of these and it, 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 plus you can break them up. You can have like one over here, one over here, one back here. You can get really creative with your lighting when you have small, a bunch of smaller lights rather than just one big one in one place. Now the downside is the AD200s are not really made for soft boxes. Yeah, you can use that little 17 inch. That's really good because it's small so it doesn't eat up a lot of light. But generally, uh, these things are too small to use soft boxes on. This thing, you can put anything on it, it'll, it'll be, be fine. Um, so now I know what you're gonna say. Well, why don't you use the ADB2, which takes two AD200s and puts it on a Bowens mount. You got the two bulbs up front. So now you have 400 watt seconds, kind of the same as this, right? So why not just use, now you can use soft boxes. Yes, now you can use soft boxes and that's great. But this thing is almost as big and heavy as this, it takes up about as much space as a 600. So you might as well use a 600. And that's why I don't have a 400. The 400 is almost as big and heavy as a 600. So you might as well have the 600. I, I don't like the 400, I gave it away. It's just not, I mean, it's just too close to this in size and weight. I'd rather have a bunch of little 200s that I can break apart and use creatively. Now this thing here actually is a lot dimmer then these two things separate with the four and a half inch reflectors on here, depending on the modifier. And that's where it comes down to. You can get the equal amount of light from this and this if you use the right modifiers. So let's start with the obvious test. Let's take this reflector and stick it on the ADB2. So let's compare this with this. So here we have the ADB2 with the seven inch reflector, and here we have the two AD200s with the two four and a half inch reflectors, much brighter. I think part of the reason for that is the way the bulbs are in the reflector, they're too close to the front or something. It just doesn't give you the same amount of power as this does. Now the story changes a little bit when you take the thing off, and let's start with bare bulb testing. You get almost the same amount of light if you take the reflectors off. Now let's use a silver reflector umbrella with bare bulbs, exact same exposure. So that's where you get the same amount of light from this as you do this. And with soft boxes, well, you can't use this on a soft box because there's no way to attach it to soft box, but let's compare 
the ADB2 with the 600. All right, so let's use a little two by three foot softbox. The ADB2 comes in at 11.6 and the 600 comes in at 16. So that's less than a half a stop difference between the two AD200s and the 600 with a softbox on it. That's less than half a stop. So that's pretty darn close. I just love the AD200s because they're not one big heavy thing. You can break it into a bunch of smaller ones that you can just put around wherever you want. It's more practical, it's more portable, it's easier to use. Uh, and I love this, this four and a half inch reflector dish. So uh, yeah, I mean, the, the tests speak for themselves. Two of these, same power as one of these. And it's a lot more practical to carry around uh, uh, in, when you're traveling. So I thought I'd share that with you. I love the AD 200s. You might say, well, what about two AD 300s? Well, like I said in that previous video, the AD 300s, I love the size and the shape and everything, but I don't like the color. I don't like the way it makes things look. The, the flash tube is different and has a different type of flash tube. And I don't like the colors. I don't like the, just the look that it gives. Uh, I, I, I would like the AD300 if, if it had the same flash tube as this, but it doesn't. And uh, you know you can't exchange flash tubes on these things. So AD200 or AD600, that's my world. All right, so there's another little lighting thing for you. I'm just gonna start throwing these lighting things out really fast because I got so many light tests to share with you. Uh, and lighting uh, modifiers and lights and things like that. So we're gonna have fun, fun, fun. And you're gonna have fun too. So uh, see you again in a few days. Until then, have a f good few days. <laughs> okay, bye.